Kia ora and welcome along to the Met Service National Forecast for today, Friday the 4th of August. And starting off, we'll have a look at the satellite picture. Well, a nice clear night last night across many parts of the North Island allowed the temperature to really drop down. Temperatures even down below freezing through parts of the Bay of Plenty. So a cold and frosty morning, but you can see we have plenty of clear sky this morning. A few showers skirting that eastern coast, but our main activity, down in the south, that band of cloud feeding up from the south, and we are looking at some wet weather, making its way up through Southland and Otago as we head through this afternoon, and weakening away as it moves northwards, but still bringing a few showers in towards places like Canterbury through the afternoon. You can see we've still got a few flurries of snow above the highest mountains down in Southland and Otago, above about 700 metres that is, but behind it, I think we are going to find things are drying up for a time. We're still left with this southerly wind, so the air over us isn't particularly warm, but I think for many of us on the North Island anyway, we'll find it stays dry through most of the night. You can see this next run as we head through the night time, it runs up towards Wellington, introduces a touch more cloud and feeds more cloud on towards that eastern side of the North Island as well. But other than that, for many of us, it's a dry night, it's nice and clear. It's another cold one, so well worth taking those extra layers. In fact, look at the temperatures as we go through the night time. Back down again below freezing for those central parts of the north side, perhaps even down towards around about one or two degrees south for the parts of Waikato as well. And I think we are looking at a cold night down south, but temperatures just about saying this side of zero. As we head on in towards the weekend, well, as weekends go, this one isn't looking at too bad in terms of weather. We've got that bit of a southeasterly feed of air on towards that eastern side of the North Island, bringing perhaps a touch more cloud and even an odd shower. But for many of us, it is a dry looking day. Even down on the South Island, there's plenty of dry weather, an odd shower perhaps in towards a Buller, and then next a wet weather feeding in towards that far south and a western corner. But really, for many of us, it's a dry looking day. For the North Island, we'll have a few pockets of early morning mist and fog through Waikato, Waitomo, in towards parts of uh, Topo as well. And there's more cloud around this eastern side. Like I say, perhaps in the middle part of the day, we might find an odd shower in towards Tairafti. But I think most spots staying dry and some decent spells of sunshine up towards Auckland, down towards Taranaki and right the way down towards Wenton after any early morning cloud clears for the capital. But really not a bad looking at day and temperatures looking pretty good as well. Again, another cold night as we head through the night time and in towards the early hours of Sunday morning, especially for those more inland areas. But our top temperatures back up to 16 or 17 degrees Celsius up through Northland, not a bad story. And I think we are looking at another cold night there. For the South Island, again, there's plenty of dry weather. We have a bit of cloud around through Canterbury and Marlborough to start day, but that should break up quite nicely in towards the afternoon to leave behind some clear skies and some pretty decent spells of afternoon sunshine. There'll be a bit more cloud from time to time on that western coast, and you can see perhaps that cloud thick enough to bring an isolated shower in towards Buller, but I think very much an isolated affair. Most spots staying fine and dry. There'll be more cloud building back in the far south, and you can just about see that next front waiting to come towards the likes of Fjordland by the end of the day. But really, for many of us on the South Island as well, it's another dry day, more cloud on that western coast. Here are temperatures across the South Island. You can see highs there back to around about 11 degrees Celsius for Christchurch. And again, another cold night as we head through towards the early morning. Temperatures back down below freezing, especially where you get those clearer skies out towards that eastern coast. Well, how's the rest of the weekend looking for Sunday? High pressure is still very much in control, which generally translates to being dry conditions for the likes of the North Island and the top of the South Island. So again, watch out for a bit of early morning mist or fog. And you can see we have got that next front moving up from the south. Worth keeping an eye on the forecast, especially if you're down towards Fjordland. Might find some heavier rain pushing through there. But generally, the story for the weekend is dry weather, but still on that cold side. That's it from me. This is from